Hello and welcome. Pastor Keith here from Christ Lutheran Church in Mililani. And I am welcoming you today to morning prayer for Wednesday, April 13th, 2022. Again, what I mentioned uh, uh, the last two days, uh, this is the last morning prayer for the week. Tomorrow we will observe Monday, Thursday at 6 p.m., Good Friday at 6 p.m., and then an Easter vigil streamed live via Facebook at 7 p.m. on Holy Saturday, 8 a.m. and 11 a.m. services on the day of the resurrection of our Lord, Easter Sunday. In between the, the services, there'll be a potluck, the first we've had since October of 2019. So I'm looking forward to uh, uh, having uh, time together, not just in worship and prayer and communion, but also in some fellowship between the services. Two, two readings for this Sunday, or this Wednesday, this Sunday, this Wednesday. Uh, and this is the third servant song, uh, his humiliation, the suffering servant's humiliation and his vindication by God. Isaiah 50, beginning with verse 4. The Lord God has given me the tongue of a teacher, that I may know how to sustain the weary with a word. Morning by morning he wakens, wakens my ear to listen as those who are taught. The Lord God has opened my ear, and I was not rebellious. I did not turn backward. I gave my back to those who struck me, and my cheeks to those who pulled out the beard. I did not hide my face from insult and spitting. The Lord God helps me. Therefore, I have not been disgraced. Therefore, I have set my face like flint, and I know that I shall not be put to shame. He who vindicates me is near. Who will contend with me? Let us stand up together. Who are my adversaries? Let them confront me. It is the Lord God who helps me. Who will declare me guilty? All of them will wear out like a garment. The moth will eat them up. The word of the Lord. Thanks be to God. And then, as I said, we will read also uh, a New Testament lesson. This one also from John, the 13th chapter. After saying this, Jesus was troubled in spirit and declared, very truly, I tell you, one of you will betray me. The disciples looked at one another, uncertain of whom he was speaking. One of his disciples, the one whom Jesus loved, was reclining next to him. Simon Peter, therefore, motioned him to ask Jesus of whom he was speaking. So, while reclining next to Jesus, he asked him, Lord, who is it? Jesus answered, it is the one to whom I give this piece of bread when I have dipped it in the dish. So when he had dipped the piece of bread, he gave it to Judas, son of Simon Iscariot. After he received the piece of bread, Satan entered into him. Jesus said to him, do quickly what you are going to do. Now, no one at the table knew why he said this to him. Some thought that because Judas had the common purse, Jesus was telling him, buy what we need for the festival, or that he should give something to the poor. So after receiving the piece of bread, he immediately went out. It was night. When he had gone out, Jesus said, now the Son of Man has been glorified, and God has been glorified in him. If God has been glorified in him, God will also glorify him in himself and will glorify him at once. Little children, I am with you only a little longer. You will look for me. And as I said to the Jews, so I now say to you, where I am going, you cannot come. I give you a new commandment, that you love one another. Just as I have loved you, you also should love one another. By this, everyone will know that you are my disciples, if you have love for one another. 
the gospel of our Lord. Praise to you, O Christ. A pule kako. Let us pray the prayer appointed for Wednesday in Holy Week. Almighty God, your Son, our Savior, suffered at human hands and endured the shame of the cross. Grant that we may walk in the way of his cross and find it in it the way of life in peace. Through Jesus Christ, our Savior and Lord, who lives and reigns with you in the Holy Spirit, one God, now and forever. Amen. Now may the God of steadfastness and encouragement grant you to live in harmony with one another in accordance with Christ Jesus, the crucified one. Amen.